when do I use a network? You might be thinking if you're starting out with uh, CCNA without any prior IT or networking education, you might be thinking, okay, that's all well and good, but when when do I actually use a network? Uh, I, I don't use it all the time, right? I mean, who, who cares? So I, I have some examples here of where you use a network. And a lot of these are internet-based, so they're kind of obvious, but we'll, you know, we'll talk about a few others as well. So some, some basics where you do use a network. Online banking, for example. You log in, take a look at your account information, do that on your phone or your uh, computer or something like that. If you transfer uh, funds from one account to another or from one uh, bank to another, you're using a network. You're not just using a network, you're using probably several dozen networks uh, as well as the internet. Uh, if you're using your smartphone, to, like as I mentioned, to move uh, f funds from one account to another with your banking, or if you're checking up uh, on anything on your phone, even if you're just talking on your phone, you're using a network. Uh, your voice is actually data traffic nowadays, and it goes through a network once it hits the cell towers. And actually, it's on a network once it's on the phone. Um, you might be, uh, you know, browsing the app store. You might be. Uh, listening to music, you might be streaming music, you might be uh, doing anything like that. Those all use a network. Um, you know, do you enjoy social media? You know, if you do so, checking up on Facebook, that's not just a network of people, but you're using a network to communicate to it. You're sending data from your computer or your device to uh, their servers. And in order to get to their servers, you're traversing your network, uh, your provider's network, the internet. Uh, Facebook's network, their you know data center network, down to their ser servers and back again. Uh, same with Twitter. You like to enjoy doing Twitter? That's all using networks as well. If you do online shopping of some kind, go through eBay or go through uh, you know um, Goodwill or anything like that. Anything like that. That's all using a network. Um, even things like uh, cars nowadays. <laughs> Um, there's technology being developed now to have cars communicate while they're on the highway and they're going to be talking to each other, letting each other know how fast they're going and how close they might be and things like that. We're going to have networks while driving. Uh, we may not be accessing them directly, but the systems may be accessing them. Um, if uh, you want to learn about something, such as Wikipedia, you'll be using a network to access that. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about um, uh, K through 12 type things, uh, such as what Khan Academy seems to be focusing on, uh, you'll be using a network to access that and stream video off of that. That's all using networks, uh, or Coursera, or Udacity, or any of the other educational sites that you can use to learn for free. Uh, if you enjoy gaming, such as uh, PlayStation or Xbox, uh, you can do so uh, through their networks. They have their own Xbox Live and PlayStation networks, and you might be using your network to communicate to their networks to then uh, battle people online. Uh, there's, there's tons of different networks that you use every single day uh, that you may, not, you may not think about it. If you go uh, shopping to uh, the grocery store, you, you go to the grocery store and uh, you pick up some food and things like that, you get to the uh, checkout. As your items are being scanned, they're going into a computer system and they're being checked against probably a central server. Um, they might be automatically updating their um, uh, amount of products that they have available, their inventory. Uh, that's all going through a network. Uh, if you go to uh, Walmart and you go uh, to the back there, they have pallets of product that come in off of the trucks. Each pallet has RFID uh, frequency identifiers that identify what's in that pallet. Those use network. Uh, your, your, any product you buy basically used a network of some kind anymore. Uh, if you're doing just about anything, you're using a network nowadays. Uh, long gone are the days of being completely separated from, from networks in any fashion or being completely separated from computers or technology. Um, if you use a phone, if you use a GPS, if you use uh, your car now, that your car, even I mentioned cars before, cars internally have networks inside them. <laughs>
there's there's usually several uh, that communicate information about you know how fast you're driving, what speed are the wheels, am I braking or am I accelerating, uh, all these different what are the engine timings and the cylinders firing and stuff. All that information is collected through networks and sent back to central computers in your car. Uh, you're you're always using networks. You you can't get away from it now. It is so pervasive. Uh, so that's why it's such an important technology to learn, I feel. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're doing networking, if you're doing um, systems administration, if you're a programmer, if you are an HR person, you know, if you do, if you're a CPA, it doesn't really matter. You're using networks in some fashion. It's great to know at least the basics of how a network works because it, you just can't get away from them anymore. Um, people have various different kinds of networks in their homes. To know how they operate is very um, powerful. You can be very productive and very um, self-supportive if you understand how they work. Uh, so that's where we're going to go from here. Uh, we're going to start diving into you know, what, what are networks, uh, what kind of traffic goes across networks, um, what are some common protocols, and we're going to branch out from there and start getting into the more of the detailed things.